Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with a clothing haul and try on for you guys. I wasn't going to do this haul only because I am going to have a vacation lookbook coming up. I want to film that when I'm away and all these outfits are pretty much going to be in it. But I asked on Snapchat if you wanted one or the other or both. And so many of you Snapchatted me saying you wanted both. So I'm sorry if this is redundant, but I do have a bunch of fun summer clothes and bathing suits. I mean, who am I? But yeah, I have bathing suits in there as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Let's get started. So the first place I went to was Zara. I always go to Zara because I really love their clothes sometimes. But I find Zara where I live hit and miss. So I only got one pair of shorts. Shorts are basically my summer wardrobe. Short denim shorts. Who can go wrong? So I got this pair here from the Traffaluke section. They are just a classic blue denim. So these are just have no stretch in them or anything like that. So I got these in a size 4 and they were only $35 which I think is really reasonable. Okay since I'm talking about denim shorts I'm just going to stick with it. I went over to Aritzia. The next bunch of stuff is from Aritzia. That store is expensive but you can find some good deals. I think there's a sale going on right now. These weren't on sale, but I tried a pair of one teaspoon shorts and fell in love. They're a little bit more pricey, but I did end up getting three pairs. The first pair I got is this pair here. White denim shorts are like totally my thing. I love white denim in general. I just love white clothes. I just think it's so nice, especially with my skin tone. So these are the one teaspoon bandits. They're really popular style in white. These ones have a lot of distressing all over the front. They are short, but again, I love that one teaspoon short. The cut higher on the side of the leg, short at the front, but the back is slightly longer, so you're ass is always covered because I'm going to be turning 25 and I can't have my ass hanging out of some denim shorts. The only thing I don't like about these shorts is that they are a button fly. Like there's four buttons in here to put them up. They're not a zip but they just look so good on. I love them and I got them in a size 24. I am not a size 24 but I find these shorts fit really really big. So if you're ordering online size down and they're the bandits that everyone has and now I'm jumping on the bandwagon. And then I just got another pair of bandits in another color because I was like oh my god I love them so much. And this is just a light denim color. The style is wild. These ones are distressed on the front and distressed on the back. I did get these ones in a size 25 because no 24 is available. But they're just a little bit bigger on the waist and I can pull them up higher and it's fine. I can wear both sizes equally. And then I got this pair here. These are a different pair of one teaspoon shorts. These are the Bonita shorts. These ones have a very raw edge. I love this color of denim but these shorts are different because these shorts are very very short in the front. They're probably the shortest shorts I own in the front and they're cut very high on the sides but the back is significantly longer you'll see in the try on portion so from the side and from the back they actually come down lower than I think even the bandit so you're not showing too much skin but yeah these are the bonitas and these are a size 24 as well then I needed tops I was doing so well with finding bottoms but tops have been the hardest thing for me to find like Go figure, when I was overweight, I could find like anything I wanted, but I couldn't fit into it. And now that I can buy anything I want, I can't find shit. So I bought a bunch of tops. Three of them are the same, so I'm boring. I just like very plain tops. So from Aritzia, this is the brand Azure Skies. I just got a white tank top, a plain white racer back tank top. Nothing special. It's cotton, which I love. And I love that this isn't just like as tight a fit as I'm wearing today. It has a bit more of a flow to it. So when I'm wearing it with my one teaspoon shorts, because those have so much leg out, it's nice to have a little bit of balance on the top. So yeah, just a white t-shirt. Amy, don't you talk about it for that long. And then I just picked up a bunch of slinky tank tops from Wilfred Free. These are all the same, but I got them in a different colors. It's just like this. It is called the Moffat tank top. I thought this was such a sexy tank top. It's skinny strapped. It's got a very low neck, so I might wear a bandeau just because some bras will show underneath it. And then the back is basically a racer back. It's like a tee back racer back. So it shows a lot of your arms. It shows a lot of your shoulders and your back. It really makes my arms look pretty muscular, to be honest. So I was feeling myself not gonna lie so I got it in black in a size small and then because I really couldn't find many other tops I was like what gives I'm just gonna get it in a bunch of colors because I really like the way it fits and I think they're like versatile pieces that can be worn with jeans can be worn with pretty much anything so I got it in teal you guys on snapchat told me to get this color so thank you and I also got it in white because like I said I love white clothes I love white tank tops guys I'm so boring I told you my workout clothes are bright and fun but like my regular day-to-day -day clothes I love my neutrals like snooze fast. This next purchase is so exciting for me. I have always wanted a maxi dress and I was shopping in Nordstrom not even looking for a maxi dress. I was actually looking for swimwear and I found this and it is so beautiful. So of course it came home with me and it is this gorgeous maxi dress here. The top is actually more like spandexy material so it fits very tight. 
The back is super, super cute. It's got a very low back and then it's got all these cutouts. So it shows a lot of your back off. And then the bottom is just nice and flowy and all this print here. It's like a gauzy material. I find like some maxi dresses I've tried on just make me look like a house. Or if they're all tight, it's a little bit too much for daytime wear. But this is just perfect because it's tight on the top and shows my figure. But then it's nice and flowy. And this bottom, literally, I was feeling so gone with the wind fabulous when I put this on. Like, I was twirling around the fitting room like a crazy person. It just makes me feel myself. Yes, please tell me you got that Real Housewives of Atlanta reference. But yeah, this is super cute. It's by a brand called Maji Swimwear. Check them out because they're just so beautiful. I also got two more fancy dresses. One I'm going to be wearing to my birthday dinner when I'm in Florida because I'll be in Florida on my birthday with my family. This I picked up from Revolve Clothing. This is so cute. It's really not going to look that cute on the hanger, but it is by the brand Sailor New York, and it is just this gorgeous um, sky blue color. And I just thought, I was looking for something white originally, but then I came across this, and I just thought in Florida with a tan and with my skin tone in the heat, sky blue is just as nice as white. And so it has this lattice design, and then it has a lot of floral patterns here, and then also floral along the bottom. This hits you above your knee, so it is a nice short dress. It's basically a shift dress with cap sleeves. Again, you have the floral detail on the sleeves. And then the back is really cute. It's got like the cage back. It has a back cutout and then it's just cage on the bottom. This is a really, really nice dress. I swear it's not doing it justice. I can't wait to wear this on my birthday and I'll definitely post on Instagram because I'm going to wear it with my Valentino rock studs and together they look like amazing. This next dress I am so freaking excited about. It is by For Love and Lemons and this one I may wear um, to dinner with my friends here or I might save it for another special event because this is something I have wanted forever and I just treated myself to it. For Love and Lemons make some of the nicest dresses and this is their luau dress. Oh my god it is absolutely freaking beautiful. I got it in black and it's black with nude lace. And then the back is completely like mesh as well, this black mesh, so it's kind of backless. Honestly, if you are looking for a sexy dress that has great lace or has these mesh like nude illusions, For Love and Lemons is the best. I also own their Antigua dress and I love that too. I just think they make some of the prettiest dresses. I'm just going to show you this try it on in pictures. I'm not going to do a live try on because it is a nightmare to get in and out of this dress because there is not really any stretch in this upper mesh part. And I did order this in a small, which is the same size as my Antigua dress, which is a perfect fit but the arms are just very difficult to get in and out of like I had to have help getting out of this dress even though it fits perfectly once it's on it doesn't look too tight so that is my only downside and I'm not even sure if like a mesh dress like this could be bought a size up and altered but because it does fit so great once it's on I'm keeping it and it's just going to be reserved for special occasions but I love it it's so beautiful Okay, so I saved for last the bathing suits. I am not going to be trying these on live on camera just because, I don't know, I feel so weird about that. Like, I don't know, I will show you pictures of them on and you will see them in my vacation lookbook, me wearing them in the situation. But I just feel like really weird to be sitting here or standing here in my room trying it on and filming myself just standing here in bathing suits. So yeah, we're just going to show you guys. So anyway, the first bathing suit I got, this doesn't even have a bottoms yet, I'm really stressed out. It's from Victoria's Secret. I was like, oh, I'll just get the top online because I thought it was so cute. It's like this here. It's just a black halter top. This does have padding in it and push-up. Team no boobs, so I need a little bit of something. Do not judge. I'm just going to insert a picture. A ton of you guys love this. I did have a before and after when I got this in one of my other last videos. And it just ties around your waist and it makes your waist look very tiny and it kind of emphasizes the curve of your waist. But I can't wait to wear this top. I just think it's so sexy, but it's also chic and just it's pretty it reminds me of like grecian stuff and then all the other swimwear is from agent provocateur or provocateur however you want to say it. i have an addiction to agent provocateur swimwear i think they make the sexiest one pieces the first one that i got i have always wanted this bathing suit you guys will probably have seen like knockoffs of this as well all over instagram and also seen the real ones because they are expensive but now that i lost the weight i thought i might as well treat myself to it and this is the mazzy cutout bathing suit this is in one of the shades for 2015 pop star it's so bright it is so shocking and i just think with a tan it's amazing the back has a super sexy low scoop back cutouts on the back as well this again emphasizes your curves it looks amazing super super oh, i can't wait to wear this mm. and then i got two more just because i couldn't help myself this one is going to look so ugly off but in the picture that i'm going to show you it's really cute it's honestly the simplest but also the sexiest bathing suit it is just a tank top design it has a u front and also a u back not super low cut 
but it is hand slashed so it has all these slash cutouts that were ripped by hand on either side and also down the center of it here and the way that it is cut makes your body look very curvy and kind of again accentuates your waist and makes you look very hourglass and this one does not have a lot of butt coverage I will tell you that like when I got it I didn't realize it didn't have that much butt coverage but this is so sexy like I just cannot and then the last one I got is going to be almost impossible to show you guys on camera with it looking cute because it looks so ugly. But this is one of their classic bathing suits. It is called Lissandra. And actually it has just got on sale. I got it on the first cut sale but now it's gone down to $2.50. So basically it has these padded cups here. This you'll get in your bra size. So it has these underwire slightly padded cups. Not a lot of padding. More just like lined. And then it has this mesh that kind of has a V-cut. And it's really cool because you can wear it as customized as you like. You can wear it completely closed if you want to be conservative. You can wear it completely open if you want to show some more skin. It's really cool and I love this color. I just think with my skin tone this color is my favorite. It also comes in turquoise and black. Asian Pro Couture makes the best swimwear guys. Like, if you want to treat yourself to swimwear, like I've never had a reason as an overweight person to get swimwear so that's how I justified it. But they make the most of your body and they are just so on point. And then the last thing I got for vacation, since it is a vacation haul, is not clothing, it's actually a piece of technology. I got a new camera, I got a Sony A5000. I want to vlog on the trip and like I said, I wanna film my vacation lookbook. There are a ton of things that I wanna film when I'm away and I also wanna take you guys with me. And I just was thinking to bring what I film on the Canon camera, the DSLR, it is just too big and too heavy. I'm not going to want to lock it around with me. Since upping my quality with my videos, I really wanted to like maintain quality control if that's a thing. I also love that it has this flip up camera here so when I'm vlogging I can actually see what I'm doing because I'm a novice vlogger. I don't really vlog. I've never really vlogged before so at least I'll know I'm in the frame and I'm not looking crazy which is really cool. Another reason I wanted this is because it has Wi-Fi on it. I can basically sync it to my phone via the Wi-Fi and then I can put the pictures on my phone directly without emailing them to myself and just upload them straight to Instagram or social media so I can keep you guys in the loop when I'm away as well. I just thought it has a lot of great features. I've actually been filming my food diary on it so you guys will see. I'm going to be uploading that very soon so you'll see the quality and then all my vacation videos will be filmed with it so yeah. I love it. It's my new baby. So yeah guys, that is the end of my haul. As I'm sitting here filming it, this is probably the last time I'm gonna film. And you're probably watching this when I'm away because I wanted to have content for you guys that I could spread out when I'm gone too. So I'm sorry if you hate pre-filmed videos, but I don't know how much editing and how the Wi-Fi is gonna be when I'm gone. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. So yeah, have a great day. Bye.